Hi, this is Amy with Living My Beloved Life and this is a review video. So I don't do enough of these. I really need to get caught up on of my lovelies that I have. So today is going to be for Amillipads and I love them. And Monica from Amillipads is just amazing if you've never dealt with her. She is in Hungary and um, Actually, I ended up with a millipads because in uh, one of my Facebook groups, she posted that she would like to do a trade. I didn't really realize that she was a millipads until after I said yes, and um, then here I am. So I showed her a few pads that I had to trade. She showed me a few that she had to trade, and voila. Um, so anyway, she sent me tons of stuff, so hopefully I can get through it all and explain everything um, cause she really, she went above and beyond in the trade actually and gave me a lot of great stuff and I am so grateful. So she actually sent me, um, a total of six pads. I'll show you. So she sent me a couple of liners and those, and then this, and this sort of like more moderates and then these two. Um, so I will go into more detail and when she... I did do an unboxing video, so I'll post that somewhere, and um, you can go back and see everything she sent me. She sent me a lot of good goodies too, like some face creams and some chocolate and a lot of nice extras as well. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, this little um, booklet, pamphlet that she sent in, and I guess she sends this with all of her pads. She is actually also the artist. I'll come back to that later. Um, but this little pamphlet just goes over, you know, the care and the different styles that she offers. Um, very helpful. She also has a lot of great information on her website. I'll post that down below as well. So let me go through these first two liners here. These are both a cotton top. They, she has a great tag on the back. Let me see if I can get really up close. Oops, upside down, bad, 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 okay. So as you can see, that says Aphrodite on it. And notice on the end right there, that little crescent moon, those are important actually. That is how you tell the absorbency of each pad. So, and it also tells the style. So this is an Aphrodite and it is a crescent moon. Crescent moon means that it is a liner. So this is a cotton top. What makes a millipad special is two things really. So she has this backing that is sort of like swimsuit. A lot of people compare it to that. It is thicker than like a PUL type backing. It is waterproof um, and it's thick and a little cushy, which is nice, I think. I'm not a fan of PUL backs, but so I was a little nervous about this, but it really does not slide around in um, my panties at all. So. That is one really great thing. So for the absorbency of a liner, she um, has this co the cotton top, and then she says that she has a, um, that this backing actually has a soaker, she calls it a soaker, a core connected to it that is absorbent. And so rather than adhering it to the top at all, because as you can see here, so this is just the cotton fabric. She actually pressure, heat pressure adheres it to this uh, TPU backing. So it does, which it makes it feel that cushy, I guess. Um, so it's not sewn in at all. It's pressure heated in there and it doesn't move around. And I've washed this pad quite a few times and um, no problems at all. This is a great one because it does not show any stains. So isn't that lovely? The other um, liner type I got, this is also, let's get here, an Aphrodite. But as you can see, it has a half moon. So this is, I guess, considered more like a moderate. It is a thicker pad. I'll show you. And then let me get the crescent moon here so you can do a little comparison. So it's not much of a difference, but it is a little bit for sure. So again, this is a cotton top. This one is an Egyptian cotton. So Egyptian cotton 
has like longer threads that make it last longer or something i don't quite understand that it's nice and silky though that's for sure i love this pad and so i don't know if this one is egyptian cotton or not but i have worn it quite a few times also i've actually worn this one i should go back to this one for just a minute um uh it's seven and a half inches the aphrodites are seven and a half inches or 20 centimeters and folded up they are very 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 narrow this is about one and three quarters inches um, in the gusset here so extremely narrow but i actually like that as you if you've watched any of my other MIF videos you know i wear a lot of uh, thong pads i'm for work and so this is really great because it was so thin actually uh, one day i decided to try it as a thong and it worked just great so i would definitely wear these again then she also sent me this aphrodite as i was saying focus 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 there we go that has the half moon so a half moon um pad it is a little bit thicker this is also cotton topped i think this is an egyptian cotton and as a half moon it has a 100 percent flannel um cotton flannel core in the hair as well so a little bit thicker um, but holds up great. Now, you'll notice on all of the Amila pads that they have the metal snaps, these little metal snaps, which I believe are anti-rust. At least I haven't had any problems with them. And I've had these pads probably a good six to eight months now. Um, so they don't rust. The other thing that's really actually I need to share is I wore this pad recently um, flying. I was due to um, have my period start anyway and so i always like to wear a liner just as you know the just in case whenever it's going I to i had heard on some facebook groups that um women about women who had been stopped by the airline security the tsa for metal snaps on their cloth and i had even passed that rumor on but then it's like well that's kind of silly they've got to know uh, that you know there are other alternatives out there i can't be the only woman wearing these so i actually did a little test last month on purpose and i chose to wear this liner with the the metal snaps because i wanted to see if i would be stopped by the tsa and i wasn't and um not at all and i had carry-on and in my carry-on luggage i had my whole like storage uh, all my pads and everything i didn't get stopped for any of those in my luggage and i was wearing this one and i had to go through um a metal detector and then also i did I had to do the whole body scan where you got to put your arms up and everything too and didn't get stopped at all nobody even questioned me and actually um, on my flight back home i even got like upgraded so that i didn't have to go through like the second stage of security. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I can honestly say and debunk the rumors, metal snaps will not get you stopped by TSA at the airport. All right, love this pad by the way. Um, so those are the two Aphrodite pads that she sent me, seven and a half inches. Then she sent me the next size are these two, which are, um, Penelope. So I'll start with this one. <clears throat> you can see, focus, there we are. Penelope, and this one happens to be a full moon. This has this really pretty, oh, upside down, there we go. This really cute little Be My Valentine uh, cotton topper. This is definitely a little bit thicker, but not terrible. This pad is 10 inches or 25 centimeters. And it is two inches snapped up. Let me just show you that. So it's still got a fairly narrow gusset there, but it's a really great pad. Now, as the full moon, it has a cotton terry or um, an organic cotton bamboo blend for its core. So lovely, lovely pad. This other one, and I only know that this is a Penelope, because it's the exact same size as the Be My Valentine. So this one is a velvet top, which 
it's lovely and it's kind of this like steely kind of gray it's just it's so pretty it's so soft but it actually has no tags on it and i thought oh she just forgot to put a tag on it but actually she um told me no she didn't forget the tag this was actually um, a tester pad that they were only she was only sharing with friends to give the pad a try and i'm so i feel that really flattered that uh, she would share this with me as well. Um, it is also a heavy, I can tell that full moon, so it is thicker again, but I mean for a heavy pad it is definitely not very thick at all. Lovely, lovely. So she does now make uh, velvet topped pads and it's got, she always coordinates her back TPU colors as well to whatever the front is, so it's got that pretty gray and this one of course has that pretty red. So those are the two Penelope 10 inches long, two inch gussets. And then the last two pads that she sent me, these two lovelies, of course I keep putting it upside down. What is wrong with me? So Star Wars and then this crazy eye. So I'll start with Star Wars. These are both a theme. Let me get this tag correct here for you. Can you see a theme and this one is actually a crescent moon even though this is a longer pad so a theme's are 10 and a half inches or 27 centimeters they do have a little bit bigger gusset here so they're wider gusset i should be saying so they are two and a half inches at the gusset instead of the two or you know the aphrodite or even a little bit thinner so this being a crescent moon, it does not have any um, core liner other than that absorbent one that she talked about with the Aphrodite that is like heat treated to the TPU backing that it has here. So cotton topped, lovely little pad, Star Wars if you're a big Star Wars fan. And yeah, and then this last pad, like I said, also an Athene, but this is the full moon. So it is thicker. I love this pad. Some people said it was a little odd with this eye and you know, could be a little creepy or something, but I like it. I think it's a really cute pad and a fun pattern. So this has, I'm not sure exactly which it has, if it has the cotton terry or if it has the cotton bamboo, but it's lovely. I like it. Love it, love it. So one other thing she sent me was um, a little pad extender. So this, for example, I'll put it on one of uh, my Aphrodite's here. So you just snap it on, maybe. Oh, I'm doing the wrong side, that's why. Ha ha. Wow, I can do this, really. Okay, so you snap it on. And then it does make the gusset longer. So in this case, in, it went from being really narrow, about three and a quarter, or I'm sorry, one and three quarters um, width gusset to a, almost a two and a half inch gusset. So, which is probably more common to most of our panties that we have currently, right? So that makes a big difference. Cute little apple pad extender. I know other people have taken this and used this to link their pads together. To hang when they dry you know so you've got a little something to hang it over so you could also do that with it lovely lovely pads just to talk about quality for just a minute so her stitching you can see that is lovely she doesn't do any of those fancy stitches or anything but quality is is very good I don't see any flaws on any of them that are really really nicely made so very good one of the other things she sent me was this um, cup bag little she's got her little logo on there for Amilla it's got the little these little beads for a drawstring which is nice it's a perfect size for just a little cup and it's got I don't know what this lining is it's a little thicker than 
just a normal lining, but it's not a PUL lining either. But it's very nice, it's very cute. Little bicycles, if you can see. So it's a cute little bag and I really appreciate that. Um, another thing that she sent me, let me grab it here, are these stickers. So walk like an Egyptian because she uses Egyptian cotton quite often. She's got her little Amila logo up there. Let's see. To be or to be or proud to be. And she's got her Amila logo down at the bottom there. And these are actually, let me hold that one up there so you can see it. These are all her own artwork. And these are stickers, by the way. So I could be sticking these all around be proud um, but this is her artwork apparently she is an artist by day or as I always say what what's your day job I have a day job and then I have my volunteer job which I talk about a lot um, but her day job is she is a professional artist um, I believe she said a portrait artist so maybe that's why she has all these portraits but anyway I thought that was also a very nice little gesture to send me all these nice stickers that I could be out planting them around in public right and on some of those disposables type things so I think I hope that's all I think I covered everything um anyway she oh I know the last thing that I need to tell you is um she does sell in Hungary she's from Hungary so she does ship internationally uh I know that Feminine Wear UK um, sells Amila pads. Also, she actually just launched an Amila pad Canada, so where you can also get pads from if you want to purchase. And she has her own uh, website, so I will link that somewhere down below as well. Uh, definitely give Monica a try. She's super uh, responsive. Um, even this morning, I was just emailing her to just make sure that I had um, correct information and everything on all the pads I wanted to be accurate. And um, she was just so quick to get back to me so I really appreciate that and just lovely 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 and she still tells me that she loves the stuff that I chose to de-stash and share with her and it wasn't things that I made myself but she still says she loves them which is always nice right so anyway definitely give Monica and Amila pads a try you will not be disappointed at all so hope you're having a fantastic day and wonderful summer weather wherever you are. I'm in Southern California and it is like 80 plus degrees today. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.